Hi, this is Amish Agarwal and Associates and uh, I thought I'll make a little video about um, uh, this interesting concept that happens from time to time which is a big source of concern for a lot of litigants and lawyers. What happens is that you know you have a case, your client knows you have a good case but sometimes the judge does not feel that you have a good case and at the very inception, the very beginning of your case itself. Sometimes the judge suggests to you in oral terms, nothing in the order sheet that perhaps it will be better that you finish off the case at this stage itself rather than pursuing this litigation because it might not make sense for you. Sometimes yes, you should listen to the judge because the judge of course has much more experience than you on most days because you are fighting out maybe one, two or a maximum of five or seven cases in a day. The judge is seeing reading files pertaining to that nature about 50 or 60 times every single day. So of course he has much more experience. In some situations though, the judge will pick up a garb of concern and will try to tell you that you should not pursue this case for any other reason. Let us not jump to conclusions quickly and say the judge took a bribe from the other side. That does not happen as often as you might like to think. What does happen though is sometimes complicated cases, sometimes embarrassing cases. And in those situations, sometimes the judge says, I don't want to deal with this messy situation. I am going to very, very strongly suggest mediation in the matter mediation and then settlement in the matter and this is precisely what happened a couple of months ago in a matter of mine client very very wronged felt aggrieved by the actions of the defendant filed a civil suit for injunction and damages against the other party now the judge of course as is duty bound to a certain extent suggests mediation both parties say all right we'll try mediation the other party though is very very steadfast on a couple of aspects of that negotiation. One thing which is non-negotiable to the defendant is also not negotiable to us. And because of that there comes a standstill. Now mind you about 3-4 hours of negotiations have already taken place before the judge which is something unusual because of the fact that usually the judge matter refers the matter to mediation and that is where the entire thing takes place. Here though what was happening was because these little terms were being hashed out the judge thought it's better that I take care of it in front of myself. Now the judge kept suggesting things, we kept bowing down, we said all right we'll concede to whatever is being said except this one aspect which was completely non-negotiable. On this stage my client asks me if the judge gets angry he will anyways not decide the matter in my favor. What's the point on being steadfast on this particular thing? Let us concede to that as well. I explained to my client that in this particular situation, even if we say that we are not amenable, we don't want to negotiate or concede to any terms on this particular aspect. What will happen is that the judge will grant the other party time to file their written statement after which we will file our replication matter will be fixed for admission and denial of documents as well as for framing of issues after that arguments are going to happen one or the other party is going to move one sort of application or the other in the middle of all of this before there is any chance for the judge to so-called inflict any damage upon us even if he presuming for a second becomes so angry that he says let me show them the consequences of not listening to me the mad actual damage that he can do at any point of time will be at a much much later stage at the very least two years from the date that we are discussing this in this kind of a circumstance does it make sense for us to bow down to a thing which is unacceptable to us just because we are afraid that the judge will get angry and when my client heard this my client said all right let us do this because i find this particular aspect to be non-negotiable 
after four hours wasted of the judge the opposite party for no fault of ours really we said that this is unacceptable and we cannot go beyond it the defendant says it is unacceptable to us as well and then the judge of course gets angry and throws the matter five months down the line which is completely fine with us because we would still get what we wanted in all likelihood two or three or four or five years down the line because the case of the client is genuine he has a strong case and he is in no rush to get that justice in that circumstance it makes a lot of sense to go beyond the judge even if the judge is there showing his ire his anger because even if the judge the almighty judge is very very angry with you has now tagged you as the bad guy it does not matter on most of the occasions a because whatever damage an angry judge can do to you can only happen several months years down the line and secondly and more importantly even if an angry judge passes an order which is unacceptable to you you always have the remedy of approaching the appellate courts and even if appellate courts pass any order there is always the supreme court of india to help you get out of any mess that any angry judge whatever this judge can throw your way you have a way out of this scenario